First at 10, left to die, a grieving twin sister of a man killed in a hit and run wants justice for the coward who sped away from the wreckage. Well, how do you sleep at night? How do you just leave somebody out in the street like, like a dog, like they're nobody? She's pleading for answers tonight in a story you'll see only on Action News. The man was struck Saturday while he was crossing Meringue near Seven Mile. Seven Action News reporter Alan Campbell has the woman's tearful message to the driver. It was here on Meringue on the city's east side. 34-year-old Reginald Edwards was hit by a car and eventually died. The driver never stopped. Now his family is hoping someone will come forward with information and help bring them closure. I cannot take any more, so please say something. I'm tired. My heart has no more left in me. I have nothing else to give to anybody. I'm tired. Just tired. Lashana Hall still can't believe her twin brother is gone. It's a um, bearable pain. It's, I feel like everything is gone. I'm just, I'm just empty. 34-year-old Reginald Edwards died after trying to cross Meringue near Seven Mile. He was bad. Whoever hit my brother, they did him really bad. They didn't have to do him like that. They could have stopped. It happened Saturday night around 9.30. Police say Reginald was crossing Meringue when he was hit by a car traveling at a high rate of speed. I want to know how do you sleep at night? How do you just leave somebody out in the street like, like a dog, like they're nobody? Officers releasing surveillance video of a red car they're now looking for believed to hit Edwards. He was going so fast when he hit him. My brother flew up and came back down. Reginald leaves behind a girlfriend, kids, and a loving family. His sister tells me he lived every day smiling and doing what's right. Now, Lashana is pleading with whoever hit her brother to do what's right and turn yourself in. What if it was one of your loved ones? What if it was you? Do you want to just be left in the street like that? The family has set up a GoFundMe page under Reginald Edwards Home Going. If you have any information about this hit and run, you are urged to call Detroit Police or Crime Stoppers. That number, 1-800-SPEAK-UP. And remember, you can remain anonymous. Reporting on the city's east side, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News. Alan, thank you.